This is how I feel today. Mostly because of my hair, but that's why hats exist. Hey nerds, it's Teary. Welcome back to my show. I know I've been streaming the last couple of weeks and I just really felt like news needed to happen today. And it's a good thing because there are a lot of things that I want to pull together. There's stuff just like strewn all over the internet. A lot of them are videos and I wanted to just link them all in one consolidated space. What better time to do that than in my news video? Topics of today include the Warcraft movie premiere in China, including the live stream of the event and box office reports. A few videos regarding the Warcraft movie, including tours of the set with devs and interviews. Where to get some pre-Warcraft movie storyline background. A Warcraft movie merch giveaway. My favorite World of Warcraft Legion questline so far. A few other fun facts about Legion and an update on what happened in the meeting with Blizzard and the devs from Nostalrius. With Warcraft being released in the US soon, the premiere in China sure did bring in a lot of dollars. An estimate of $46 million came in just for the first day sales of the Warcraft movie. The five day launch estimated bringing in between $122 million and $152 million. What the crap? With Warcraft coming out on June 10th, they did the premiere event on June 6th. They interviewed internet personalities such as streamers, developers, actors in the movie, and fans and cosplayers that were there. Check the link in the description. Another video I'd like to highlight is where Chris Metzen walks the set of Warcraft. You mostly see Stormwind here and some other costumes, and you find out, uh, spoiler, Chris Metzen plays a merchant in the movie. A merchant. I must, I will search for him. I will be searching for him on Saturday when I see this. I'm seeing it on Saturday. So excited. Guys, Watching his passion, I got a little, I got a little choked up. I won't, I won't hide that. I'm totally fangirling here. Choked up, tears happened, I wiped them away, and then I started recording. Another one of my favorites is Rob Kaczynski touring the throne room of the set of Stormwind. Super awesome to see the throne room, which is an iconic place for all of us World of Warcraft players. Then there are a couple interview style ones, such as Rob Kaczynski on Late Night talking about his fandom of Warcraft and how deeply it runs. And another interview style video with Duncan Jones talking about filmmaking and Warcraft. There are so many interviews, so many. These are just my favorites from the past couple of weeks. There are tons of videos out there. I just wanted to group some of them that I loved together for you guys. If you're jonesing to get some background story before you watch the Warcraft movie, Paul Cornell and Chris Metzen wrote Bonds of the Brotherhood, which is a prequel to the movie and gives you tons of background story. I would love to read this. It's available now. Check the link in the description if you would like to look into buying that. And here's a little preview thingy, uh, which I may annotate. Oh, so many annotations, guys. Uh, but it'll at least be in the link in the description. Hot Topic is hosting a Warcraft merch gift pack giveaway, and you can enter just by voting for Alliance or Horde at the link in the description. I believe it goes through June 10th because that's when they're releasing their custom hot minute. Warcraft themed, I guess. I don't know what that is, to be honest with you. A hot minute. It's a hot minute. But what I'm most interested in is the gift pack. It includes shirts, a lanyard, a keychain, Funko Pop, and hat. Cast your votes. Next up, my favorite Legion quest line so far. Wowhead uploaded a video of the Ulduar, Karazhan, and Dalaran quest line, and it is definitely my favorite one I've watched or completed in the game so far. Because Ulduar, Karazhan, Dalaran, enough said. I really, really enjoyed seeing Ulduar again in particular. I'm excited for Dalaran to be the main hub again too. That's ugh, Lich King, by far my favorite expansion. Two more fun facts about Legion I've discovered the past couple of weeks is that to unlock world quests, you have to become friendly with the Broken Isles. Ugh, more rep grinding, uh, but another thing that makes it worth it is the Flight Master's Whistle. It may only be usable in the Broken Isles. Maybe, just maybe, Blizzard will make more of these whistles for other places. The cool thing about this whistle is when you use it, it requests a pickup and takes you to the nearest flight path. Ugh, this is something I've heard people ask for. Definitely, I've heard people ask for this. 
Also linked in the description is a little workshop on World of Warcraft's page about the extended draw distance coming in Legion. So we will be able to view farther distances. That's what it comes down to. That's really all it is. So the fog will be pushed back and we can see farther. And that's just, that's really all that I need to say send a draw distance but they go in a little more detail in the link so check it out an announcement was made recently that blizzard and facebook are teaming up to create an alliance pun intended similarly to how you can log into world of warcraft using twitter and post pictures and whatever directly to twitter from the game they're connecting with facebook but in a much broader sense not only will you be able to log into facebook through any blizzard game but they are going to be integrating a live API system. You'll be able to log in and directly live stream the game through Facebook. I don't know how the quality is gonna be guys, but I think that it's a step in the right direction. It's really another way to connect with your friends using Blizzard games without them having a battle.net account, or maybe you don't have their battle.net. You can reach out to other friends who play Blizzard games and stream for them or just share your in-game experiences. Check the link in the description for the full post about this topic. On June 3rd, the Nostalgia's team went to the Blizzard headquarters in Irvine, California to talk about the community's desire for vanilla servers. They came out feeling really good about this and while not expecting definitive answers, they didn't get definitive answers. That's completely understandable because of the vast size of the project at hand and how many people would be involved. What happened at this meeting needs to go to the rest of the World of Warcraft team and probably more to discuss whether it's something that they will do, when they will do it, etc. So the fact that the Nostalrius team felt so good about this meeting, so welcomed, they felt that the Blizzard team was so passionate and listened carefully, asked questions when they presented everything to them, I think is a good sign. I can't say any better than anyone else though. They don't wanna get anyone's hopes up, but they felt really listened to and really understood in this meeting. The other thing that could be taken as a positive sign is the fact that quite a few very key people in the World of Warcraft team came to this meeting. Three of the most well-known, Mike Morheim, who is the CEO, as well as Tom Chilton and Ian Hazakostas, who are game directors. They had a huge presentation and you can see all of the points that the Nostalrius team covered with the Blizzard team in the link in the description. And they really broke it down to what all might be involved in creating a vanilla server for World of Warcraft. By the end of their presentation and taking all of the questions that the developers had for them, they really could tell that these people want legacy servers. They really want to offer vanilla WoW to players as well as to themselves. The matter at hand is, will they be able to do that with everything else that's going on? When will they be able to do this? And is there some weird factor we don't know about that's going to come into play here? For those of you that don't know what the purpose was for the meeting between the Nostalrius team and the Blizzard team, do check the links in the description. I will link my videos in chronological order, how I explained the situation and how it's been unfolding. It has to do with us wanting vanilla servers and they haven't given us vanilla servers and etc. A couple of questions people might have and actually have had in forums about why don't they just do this? The questions are, well, why can't they just have Nostalrius do their vanilla server? They obviously did it at one point. Legally, there's really no loophole there to let them do that or let another entity do that without jeopardizing their actual copyright for their game. And another question is, well, wh why can't they do it if, you know, if Nostalrius did it, why, if some guys in their basement did it, why can't Blizzard do it? That's another question. I'm not trying to make fun of you guys either. That's just one of my mimicking voices. And I totally get that because without knowing the development be behind Blizzard games or any games or whatever, then that's a valid question. That's explained in pretty good detail in the Nostalrius post that's linked in the description. There's just a different type of 
it's different and they do have the source code for it but there would be a lot of hunting and finding and remodeling that would have to happen because of the way things are saved and the way that the game has progressed. I hope that I've kind of summed that up a little bit, but like I said, it's detailed in the Nostalrius post. The end result is that they felt really good coming out of this meeting. It's a huge milestone and a step in the right direction towards possibly getting vanilla servers. And I really hope that Blizzard decides to go this direction as soon as they possibly can, but we really don't know for sure. Well, that is my show for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Please leave me a comment, drop me a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Check back every Wednesday for news maybe or a live stream. I kind of alternate depending on what's going on. I also live stream every Tuesday and Friday. Check my Twitch page for the schedule. And I also do gaming videos in between news videos on this channel. So I hope to see you back here on YouTube or at my Twitch channel. But until then, please do take care of yourself and I will talk to you soon. I love you all. Bye.